Hello, I'm Tim Sandal and I'm a pharmaceutical microbiologist. Following the video I made last week, which was about masks and the coronavirus, and here I was emphasising the importance of preserving masks for healthcare workers during the period of short supply, which was fairly well received, um, I've decided to make a second short video. Now these videos are deliberately short and to the point. I always recommend that you do your own reading and go to reputable sources like World Health Organization, uh, the US CDC, the UK Public Health England, um, or have a look at peer review literature. So today's subject is about coronavirus, surface survival and cleaning and disinfection. So earlier research into coronaviruses demonstrates how coronaviruses can remain recoverable between two hours to nine days on different types of materials based on sort of standard room temperature like approximately 20 degrees. And this kind of early research is of use because the um, of the 79% genetic similarity between the current coronavirus of concern, SARS-CoV-2, and the original SARS virus that made global headlines back in 2003. And these studies show how survival times differ according to surface type. And I had a look at these and took the longest times that, that were apparent from these studies. So with um, stainless steel, this was um, up to nine or 10 days at 20 degrees. Aluminium was eight hours, paper was five days, glass was five days, plastic was nine days, and latex, which many types of gloves, surgical gloves are made from, um, was eight hours. Um, it should be noted, however, with these different studies was that the viral load used for the initial challenge was between 1,000 and 100 million. So there was a fair degree of diversity. Um, it's also important to note that um, the, each of these methods looked for the presence of coronavirus RNA. And the detection of RNA does not necessarily mean that the viral material remains infectious. However, in terms of safety, these findings suggest that any of the surfaces, if not treated with a disinfectant, could remain contaminated due to the presence of viral material remaining on the surface for a long period of time. So this means that regular cleaning and disinfection of surfaces that you might be concerned about is important. Temperature is also an important factor in relation to surface recovery. So at a higher temperature, say 30 to 40 degrees, then this is associated with shorter persistence of coronavirus. Um, and the coronavirus, all coronaviruses, seem to be inactivated at temperatures above 60 degrees. However, conversely, there is potentially greater concern at lower temperatures. Um, so the studies reveal that at, say, 4 degrees, refrigeration temperatures, then the ability of the coronavirus to survive on temperatures like stainless steel increases to 28 days or more. So this brings us to cleaning and disinfection. So with cleaning and disinfection, cleaning is about removing material, often called soil, but it's any kind of thing, any kind of dirt, um, so that the disinfectant will work better because disinfectants have trouble penetrating soil. They work better on clean surfaces. And cleaning involves applying a detergent, and this is a very uh, useful and in many cases important pre-step. Disinfection is about using the appropriate agents in order to inactivate coronaviruses. So what are the best disinfectants to consider? Well, there are two recent papers looking at SARS-CoV-2, the current coronavirus of concern, and they both come from uh, CAMPF and both have been published um, in uh, March 2020. One is called The Persistence of Coronaviruses on Inanimate Surfaces and Inactivation Using Biocidal Agents, and that's published in the Journal of Hospital Infection. And there's another one called The Potential Role of Inanimate Surfaces for the Spread of Coronavirus and Their Inactivation with Disinfectant Agents, 
and that's published in the journal Infection Prevention in Practice. And both these papers also connect with earlier research into other types of coronaviruses. And they show that alcohol is very effective at inactivating coronavirus. And this is generally achieved within about 30 seconds on a clean surface. And the optimal alcohols are ethanol or isopropyl alcohol, sometimes abbreviated to IPA. And these alcohols should have a concentration of 61% to 71%. And these alcohols are appropriate for surfaces and gloved hands. They're also appropriate for skin, but it is important any hand sanitizer applied to skin contains moisturisers like glycerin in order to prevent dermatitis. In addition to alcohol-based disinfectants, hydrogen peroxide in liquid form at a concentration of around 0.5% has also been shown to be effective against the SARS-CoV-2 virus in around a one minute contact time. And for those of you who are considering what might be appropriate to use at home, then household bleach, sodium hypochlorite, at a concentration of around 0.5%, with a one minute contact time is also very effective. And by contact time, this refers to the length of time that the disinfectant is in contact with the surface for before the surface can either be wiped clean again or used. And it's important for the duration of the contact time that the surface remains wet. And that's something to consider as the temperature increases, certainly for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere. OK, so that's it for this video. Hope to follow up with another one. I'm going to perhaps have a look at social distancing next time. So that's all. My name is Tim Sandal and carry on keeping safe. Goodbye till next time.